welcome back to the channel today i'll be doing my countdown of the best songs of 2020 part two so this will be from number 25 to number one position so very much look forward to number one position of what i'm gonna do and i apologize one more time if not all the songs made it to the list i completely apologize but there's been that much good music this year it's unbelievable and it's been very hard for me to make this list it's just like oh my god i was just like what do i do but yeah i'm just in my little crown again um so yeah here's part two of best songs of 2020 so let's go so i'll be yeah reading them out again as i can't remember anything in my head um but yeah number 25 position let's go is nct 127 with kick it um all i've got to say is what a brilliant song um i would like yes people didn't like this song as well but i really enjoyed this song the video was so fun and fun to see them do their little martial arts and stuff in the video <laughs> as well i was just like all having fun with it really enjoyed this song and you know bruce lee new things i just loved doing the dance to it i loved it i really enjoyed this song i had so much fun with the dance moves um but yeah I, I love this song so much, NCT Kick It, just so much fun and definitely one song that stuck in my head as well and I just couldn't get it out of my head, it was just that good and yeah, NCT 127 are brilliant and NCT, all the NCTs are really good groups, good groups. The 24th position is Wavy Turn Back Time, What a Song, Set in a Spaceship, Lucas Grows, angel wings in the video and the dance is just so good try doing this dance this is one of the hardest dances i've ever like even attempted like i just i love doing k-pop dances anyway <laughs> i'm weird um but i attempt this one this is hard this is literally and it's a workout and a half so you will lose a lot of weight if you do if you do this dance um but turn back time choreography amazing songs amazing the rap parts are amazing the singing parts and all of them just so talented and wavy definitely one of my favorite um groups and it's just interesting to see like you know a chinese boy group as well um in k-pop which is so good too and they're so it's such an interesting group they really are and i can't wait for more to come from wavy as well and their songs are just so good so good oh my god of course you know last year i couldn't leave love talk alone well, Love Talk, I didn't hear, Love Talk, I didn't hear until early this year. I didn't, I actually missed out last year on that song. I only heard it this year, which was like, oh, no. Like, I just love the 2000s R&B vibe to that song. And, you know, I did a little cover for it on my channel. Like, I just sang the chorus of it only. Uh, but, yeah, I can hear it calling. <laughs> what a song. I done Luke's heading with that song. I kept singing it as well. Um, but, yeah, Turn Back Time. What, what a brilliant song by Dunn. Oh, my God. Ooh, there's just so much power in the song. It's definitely one of those powerful sort of songs as well. You just can't leave alone. My glass is always falling off. But yeah, uh, 23 position is a comeback. Uh, guess who the comeback is? Has there been quite a few comebacks this year as well? Um, by, so yeah, the comeback is by Sami. What you're waiting for. What a song. This is so fun. And she looks so pretty. Like, she looks really pretty in the video. And I just love her outfit. Especially that blue outfit. It's so cool. I was like, I've got to lose weight and wear that and get an outfit like that first. Um, but yeah, she looked so pretty in the video and the song was just so fun, like fun as well. Where we have been there before. What a song. Just, yeah, just nice. Just a very nice sort of love song. I just, you know what I like? Just the simplicity of it. Very just simple as well at the same time. Um, even though there's madness going on in the video where it's like a house getting taken down by like, you know, a big building thing. Oh my God. Oh you know a bit of a crazy video but then like the s s song itself when you hear it's very simple i think very simple lyrics but in a nice way i do like a nice simple song here and there as well but yeah well done to sami it's definitely you know this song's definitely earned her a lot you know made her very popular this year as well and i hope she gets some more songs out because i'm actually you know really liking sami this year a lot and i did love her birthday song but this one what you're waiting for was even better oh my god this is just falling off my head i give up Oh, come on stay but yeah next one is 22 position oh my hair stop it god i really need a hair because so bad um yeah 22 position is alex balea and jadot sung i did my baby and i really have enjoyed this song so much this year like it got introduced to me i'm so thank you to the you know for recommending the song to me because i really enjoyed the song and um 
I checked out and I was like, how fun is this song? Fun sort of party song. Kind of like feels like you're on holiday as well. Very, just a fun sort of like holiday song too. And they're just having so much fun in the video. And it's just good to see them just have a laugh and have so much fun, you know. It shows, you know, artists aren't always serious. They can have fun as well. And that's what I enjoyed about this video when it first came out. And I just was like, I mean, not first came out, but I didn't, I didn't hear it till late. But when I first saw it, I just couldn't leave the song alone. It was just like the amazing music as well. Um... Um, they like just experimented with something different um, which was really good to see like Alex Vallejo is very like he's been around for years in the Romanian music industry as well um, so he's has always always experimented with something different like he's always trying new things as well which is really good to see as an artist and yeah I really love this song I couldn't one of my favourite songs this year 100% so what's the next one so yeah 21 position is The weekend with Blinding Lights oh my god hmm what can I say? The weekend is so talented. Five years ago, he got huge, and then I was like, The weekend is literally someone like who's going to take over. And from the looks of it, I was right because this year he's really took over. His song "Blinding Lights" has just gone. Oh, it's just gone everywhere. It's like so popular everywhere. It's just so huge, and he sung it so well, so beautifully. I love the eighties vibe to it as well. And you can tell he just like loves his eighties music too. Um, from the song and the video is just so in it's so different, like such a different sort of music video as well. And all of his other songs he had out this year as well from the album, all are absolutely amazing songs. He's just really been excellent this year. I've just enjoyed everything from the weekend this year, and his voice is just so beautiful, really nice, just a relaxing, soothing voice, stunning. Wow. He deserved the, he's deserved the fame he's got. He's deserved it all. All the success he deserves in the world. He's just so good. I really like him. And, yeah, for, I've been a Weekend fan for years. And this year, like, wow, his songs have just been so good. I really love him so much. But, yeah, what am I on next? Let's go. Um, so, 20 position is Dreamcatcher with Scream. Uh, why do I look drunk? I don't really drunk right now. <laughs> but, yeah, um, Dreamcatcher with Scream. What a song. And Dreamcatcher, another girl group this year who've become like, you know, one of my favourites. Also, Baka was a brilliant song as well. Uh, but Scream is just like, wow. They're like, I just love that anime style of like the rock music that they put in the video. I mean, their songs as well. And they always they always seem to do something very different each time Dreamcatcher do. And I just love it. I love the anime sort of vibes to them. And I, I wouldn't mind seeing them in like an um, anime together as well, which would be like really cute if they ever did like a dream catcher sort of anime as well of them uh, it's so cool to see and they seem like such fun girls like they've had so many great songs they've had sahara out break the wall as well and like sahara and break the wall in them videos and like self-made videos by them and they're just so funny the girls in the group are just so funny like you know all their crazy little creative ideas you know they've made like the videos literally at you know their company i'm guessing that you know their record company and they've done so well this year like i really have loved dreamcatcher and they're so underrated and they need to be even more huge because like come on like why why they're not huge <laughs> it's like they are just brilliant they're such cool like you know they're such cool artists as well and of course dami is dami yeah i hope i'm saying her name right is a brilliant rapper she's my favorite rapper in the group and um I really love them all, and I'm slowly getting used to their names. There is a you know a lot of girls in Dreamcatcher, so it's hard to get used to their names. But this year they have become one of my favourite girl groups, and I really enjoy their music. But yeah, um, that's my year twenty position. So nineteen position is oh third eye, I think they're pronounced as or three y e. Yes, sir. Like yes, sir. Um. Yeah, I love that song so much. Um, brilliant song, came out this year and reacted to it and I was just like, me and Luke had a, done a reaction to it and we loved it immediately. Like, I heard their songs previously in the past, like, they did a Bollywood song as well, like, they sang, it's amazing, which they sung so well and rapped it really well too. It's just like, basic, they delivered basically the song's called. Um, they were so brilliant in that song and, you know, and also, what's another song of theirs I heard? That was, that's when I first heard them was in that song but then Queen as well Queen's such a good song by them and oh what was it Out of My Mind something like that the title is but that's another song I really liked the one there when they're in prison 
really like that song as well. Uh, but, uh, um, oh my God. Yes, yeah, so a brilliant song. It's literally just like, you know, gets your attention. <laughs> and the dance is amazing in it. They all dance so well. And I love that it's just like, only three girls. I love it because it's easy for me to remember the names as well. If it's only three girls, so it makes it easy for me. So I can't complain about their group. You know, I love that it's three members. Like, easy for me to remember the names. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for more of like, Third Eye, what they released, or 3YE. I'm very much looking forward to it. So, 18 position is. Oof. Hayo with Dessert featuring So Yen from G Idol and Loopy. And this has been such a fun song this year. What a fun summer song this has been. And, you know, I've played it all the summer and I've just been like, even now, like I play it here and there and I just really love it. And such a fun song. The, Oh, I just love the music that's just put in it. It's just like that music, you know. Oh, desert, you know, when they sing desert, and then that music just plays. Oh, God, I'm so rubbish at recognising what sort of music it is. But when they do like, their little dance routines and everything, oh, that song is definitely one. You've heard a night out, you get up, and anyone will just get up and dance because that song, well done to all the music that's been put in it. I literally give them so much credit. Everyone behind that song, wow. And the outfits. All the outfits in it, brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It's just such a fun party song and definitely been one of the fun songs this year and definitely one that's cheered us up as well um, with what's going on. You, we need us cheering up and thank God there's music still coming out this year. Thank God. Um, but yeah, next position. Oh, I'm getting very close to the end. I'm in shock. You think I've got asthma or something? What's wrong with me right now? Um, <laughs> sorry, Luke. <laughs> sorry to Luke. Poor Luke has asthma. Um, so seventeen position is Mama Moo. Wanna be myself. This is literally uh, my favorite Mama Moo song this year. Oh my God! How much? It's just such a nice, simple song, and it's very much a nineties theme. And the music video was literally them like it's it's basically an advert. I heard it was an advert for their clothing brand, and um. But then I just really liked the song. It was very like a 90s vibe to it. And all of them just... And, you know, it just sung so well, too. And I loved all of them in the video. And I really enjoyed it. Um, and I just loved the big message behind it. Just, you know, want to be myself. Um, and lyrically, just so good. I really enjoyed it. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I want to be myself, I respect myself, you know, lyrics like that. It's just, like, very much, like... I just loved the song when it came out, and me and Luke both did a reaction to it, and we were like, this song's just amazing by them, and everyone should be themselves. Why are we all, like, trying to be something we're not? It's really embarrassing, like... I'm not saying we all do it. I'm not saying every single person does it. But a lot of people out there just, like, be something they're not, and it's just, like, a really... I understand sometimes people just don't, don't feel confident enough to be themselves. I get it, but... But then when you see, like, people who've lived for many years and, you know, even older than me and they're just still putting on that to being something else just to be liked by people and it's just... I understand it can be hard, I get it, but... But you shouldn't even care what people think. I think when you get older, you just don't care. Since I've turned 30, I just don't really care. I'm just like, whatever people think what they want of me, I just be myself and just do what I feel like and just have fun, really. I just want to have fun. That's it. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. Um, I just really just enjoy myself and, you know... Definitely this year has been a bit of a lesson, not to take anything that horrible of anyone. That's definitely a big lesson learned this year. Um, but yeah, I just I just, I just, encourage people to be themselves. It's just the best way you can be. If, you know, you live your life just putting on an act, trying to please people all the time. Um, if you just live like that constantly, you're never going to be happy within yourself. And you're just going to be miserable on the inside, putting on acts like that. And believe me, I used to be like that in my early 20s. I used to be like... I never used to speak my mind, I just used to follow people around too much, I had no opinion and if I ever like felt like I wanted to speak up, I never had the guts to speak up and say what I really wanted. Only because I was very only because I was very naive in them days as well when I was like young and I just used to like I just used to find it hard being myself and yeah, I did go through a stage where I felt really confident and happy with myself, but then when I came to my early 20s, like, a few things happened, and then I just sort of lost my confidence, and just found it hard to be myself, and then I had too many people just, like, take advantage of me, because I was just, like, not speaking up, not saying what's on my mind, but now as I've gotten older, I just feel like, you know, I just say what's on my mind, and if people don't like it, that's up to them, 
you know, I'm just enjoy. I just prefer to just be myself, enjoy my life, do the crazy things that I want to do in life. You know, just be wild and crazy. Why not? You know, and that's what I love about Mama Moo. I feel like you know, it's one they're one girl group who be themselves. So I'm just talking about my own life story. There, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I love about Mama Moo. They just be themselves. They just you know show how they feel and they just don't care. <laughs> and that's what I enjoy about watching. You know, whenever I see them on interviews and solo on her YouTube channel just really interested to see you know like i'm just like i just like to see real people more um i, I love real people and mama move will always you know they are my favorite girl group in the k industry they are my favorite <laughs> and they always will be as well and i love to anyone as well but to anyone i sadly didn't discover only until you know they sort of disbanded really i mean only discovered in 2018 to anyone but they were brilliant too and i would have been massive fans of them if i discovered um k music in them days when to anyone around as well but yeah mama moo amazing well you know what are you and they've had a brilliant year all of them have so yeah well done to them but yeah number 16 position i have asthma i swear i've got asthma <laughs> yeah number 16 position is oh something very different a different sort of like song for me um Mire with Lonely in Tokyo. So basically Mire is actually a artist from Japan, which is so interesting for me because um I haven't really heard much I really want to hear more J pop music. Like recommend me some J pop music. I wanna hear like some J pop or Japanese music. Recommend it me because I really want to hear more of it. Like me and Luke already watch so much anime from Japan as it is, so we we wanna be recommended it. Please just like, you know, tell us a few songs. Um because yeah, this year, um, random just came up on YouTube suggestion. Mire did with Lonely in Tokyo because the song went done really well, and got quite a few views as well. And then we checked the song out and we really liked it. We like just loved the whole Japan vibes of it, the way they were showing like Tokyo and all pretty and everything. As me and Luke really want to go to Japan one day, and maybe even move there one day. We never know. We'd love to move there one day, <laughs> um, but like it just made it all nice and pretty and then as a more more i heard i didn't really know what the song was about at first when i first heard it i was like oh i like this song but then as i started to hear the song more i was like one minute the lyrics have got a very deep meaning and it's just showing what the j industry can not the j industry i'm not saying like every singer gets treated like that but i'm just saying you know um how some singers get treated and the video shows how how like you know some poor like singers can be treated as well like they get taken advantage of because they all they want to do these singers is complete their dreams like they just want to fulfill their dreams become a singer a dancer you know a performer they want to be all that but then all you get is just like the people that manage them some of sometimes just take advantage of them and you know say you gotta do this you gotta do this first you gotta like sleep with me and then i'll get you this you gotta do this and it's just so unfair to take advantage of young naive girls a lot in this way as well and and then like yeah the song is just such like such a deep meaning to it lonely in tokyo you just feel so sad like you know they're there completing their dreams like but then they have to like you know the, the song basically reveals the ugly side of like some of like the music industry i'm not saying every singer has had it but i'm just saying like with some singers the ugly side of like the, the industry really what they've had to experience and it's just sad sad for anyone to, to get taken advantage of like that you know it's just Unfair, especially these poor little 18 year old girls it's just no no one should like put up with that at all and you know if you if anyone who has a, a daughter who's getting mistreated like that you know please or even a son daughter or son get mistreated like that and get taken around the job they definitely step in and you know do best do something at the beginning before you know it gets too out of hand otherwise you know if it gets out of hand then that's it you know you don't want it to like drag it out you don't want to drag it out you'd rather do something at the beginning than like later but yeah sorry very powerful message in lonely in tokyo i really love that song and mire is very talented i can't i've heard a little bit more of the japanese music and i can't wait to hear more of her music as well i really think she's very talented and very very beautiful as well very very pretty i was like wow she looks so pretty <laughs> she was really pretty in the video as well um but yeah uh, lonely in tokyo is a very good song <coughs> <coughs> oh my god sorry manly coughs right now i cough like a man okay so 15 position is god of high school with contradiction oh my god i love this song i heard this song in like an i swear i heard the song advert i feel like i did and then i was trying to look for what is this song 
Then I couldn't find it for a while. It was an advert on YouTube. And then Luke, luckily, by luck, Luke um, got told to be out to God of High School on his channel. And then um, Luke finally reacted to it. And then he played the song. He said the, um, the song in the um, anime in God of High School. It's really good. You should listen to it. And then he introduced the song to me. And I was like, one minute, I feel like I've heard this song in the advert. And I was trying to find the song everywhere and I couldn't find it. And then I was like, I think this is a song. I feel like it is. And I think it is a song, though, because it was in the advert. And I really, I enjoyed the song so much. Contradiction and the, like, rock music and everything. And I love it. I love how loud it is as well. <laughs> Sometimes I do like a bit of loud music here and there. And, you know, gets you ready for a night out. 100%. If I was getting ready, you know, when clubs are opening again. When clubs open again, um, here in the UK, getting ready for a night out, I'm going to put that on. Because that is a good one to, like, get you in the mood. It's such a brilliant song. Song so wow. And, um... Asuke, I think the artist is, who'd done the music for Contradiction. I think it's Asuke, sorry if I'm wrong, but... Yeah. Um, really made some good music for the song as well. What amazing music. So different, very much like old vibes, but I love it so much. Um, but yeah, next one is 14 Position, is Irene and Sorgi with Monster. I have loved this song so much. Oh my God. I think this song's even better than all the songs Red Velvet has had out, because... Red Velvet, I do like them, but I wouldn't say they're one of my favourite girl groups. But I think Monster by Irene Sorgi and Naughty as well was brilliant too. Them songs are so good because it's very much like, I think it's more for my age maybe than Monster was. Um, like, yeah, the songs are definitely more for like someone in my age group. So I think I really enjoyed Monster and Naughty. I enjoyed Monster even more. I love the dance moves. I love the creepy vibes to it and the, the what's the word? Um... <clears throat> The lyrics basically are just brilliant as well, and you know, they're, they're just both like, yeah, very much like intimidating as well, weren't they? In the songs, but in a good way, I loved it. I loved how they looked very intimidating too. Um, and the video was just brilliant. Uh, they've done such a good job in singing this song. The hot, like, the literally the way they hit the high notes as well, they sung it so well, and I really couldn't leave monster alone and i still can't leave monster alone it's still such a fun song i really enjoy it so much and very very much a halloween song i'd say as well yeah very halloween at the same time but yeah well done to them too they've released some really good music this year irene and sorgi have been brilliant um <coughs> oh my god i've got a dry throat ever <clears throat> so i still making weird noises um, yeah, <laughs> 13 position I have is Everglow with La Da Di Da. La Da Di Da. Yeah, La Da Di Da. La Di Da, sorry. La Di Da. What a song this is. The video of it is always al already very much like Daredevil, Ben Affleck's film. I know people diss that film, but the set of the film looks really pretty at times as well. I watched that film the other day for the first time in my life and I really enjoyed it. I know people didn't really like it, but I, I, I quite enjoyed the film. Kind of a bit of a guilty pleasure. But I loved the, like, set of um, La, Di La Di Da. Very much reminded me of that. And I loved the whole action sort of theme to it. And then dr them driving the cars. And they cool, and the cool filter as well in the video is really nice. And and their outfits are amazing as well. And the dance was so good. And then when they performed on stage, it was just so brilliant. All the girls are just such good dancers, like, really flexible as well. And I'm just like, oh, my God. I literally hurt myself doing these dance moves. I'm too old for it. <laughs> but they were so good. They were just really good. Really good. And the song is just so fun. I love like the very old school vibe to it. I love the old school vibe to the song as well. Very fun. And oh my god. Just so many fun bits like, you know, turn it up now, turn it, turn it up now. Oh my god, I'm singing badly right now. Um, so fun like the whole song and you're just very much just like very catchy just so many fun bits to it you'd have fun doing karaoke to that song actually i would love to i'm going to korea just to karaoke that song that's it decided you know I, that's if you know i haven't deafened anything whatever anyone by the end of the night um but yeah let's go uh what am i next so yeah 12 position is <coughs> oh it's a cough obviously um of course is inna read my lips featuring for inna Oh my god. <laughs> when I first time reacted to this song, I was like, how cool is this song? This is literally in its best song of this year. Read My Lips has been her best work. The Egyptian theme to it, where do I start? 
the lyrics to it such a fun song oh my god what do i say and then farina with her spanish her spanish rap in it like oh my god farina looks amazing it's like her look that she had in the video she was made for that video like the egyptian theme it's like she was made for it she looks so cool so extra i loved it i loved how extra the outfits were in the video and farina is like literally one latin artist to watch out for she's been around for absolute years she's been around since the 2000s but now it's good to see her getting international like you know more like internationally known as well which is really good to see and then she worked with tiny temper as well and in a brilliant song as well um this year and then i saw her again in Inna's video and i was like this farina like oh my god she's so amazing she's just so talented and such a beautiful woman as well oh my god she looks really hot in the video and so does inner inner and her looks so hot in the video i'm just like wow i could you could only i could only wish to have bodies like that both of theirs but they both look so hot in the video inner sang the song so well farina's parts are amazing it works so beautifully to get that the whole song did the video did and everything and i'm such a fan of this song and i did a reaction to it on my channel and then in a I just couldn't believe it. It was like one of the, my biggest highlights of this year is literally in a featuring me on her channel in her reaction, you know, the reactions to Read My Lips because Read My Lips done so well. I was featured in a tiny little two second video of one of the people that reacted to it. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm literally on Inner's channel in a reaction video. Like, oh my God, it was just, and I'm only there two seconds, but it was still such an achievement for me, you know, especially being such a smaller YouTuber. And, oh, uh, everyone was so nice so everyone was like congratulations and i was just like you're just so amazing you know i'm just so grateful for everything i've you know i have you know i would never i'll never be ungrateful in my life and you know is one of my favorite singer, singers i've followed since 2010 and she's one of my favorites and her songs have helped me through tough times as well and you know i'm just like so happy you know and then all of a sudden like she I feature, I'm literally featured on her channel and I'm just like, oh my god, I know it's only, rea I know people be like, yeah, but you only reacted, but I know, but it's still amazing to me because she is my favourite and when, when it's one of your favourite singers who literally feature you on their channel, you're like, oh my god, I'm literally, how? How did she choose me? I'm only a small YouTuber, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm such an inner fan, I've loved her music for years, I think she's so talented, brilliant dancer, she's and brought us some amazing music over the years and Read My Lips was her best song this year, I absolutely loved this song so much, loved it, loved it. <coughs> so yeah um 11 position sorry if i have a cough attack again is a tease with the black cat nero <laughs> nero yeah right there right there on the little thing no more pointing black cat nero what can i say this song is a classic song that a tease have re remade and they have remade it and they have made it so good they have done an excellent job in this they've not ruined the original at all they have made it that that good the song is just that good and this was such a fun halloween song when it came out and i was like how good is this song i literally had a big shock i was like how good is this and the dance is amazing and in this song this showed a tease are here to stay they're not going anywhere you can just see the passion in their face you can see they're so driven they really want to do well they're here to do great things and they're here to take over the industry you can see in their faces and and they prove it every time they perform on stage as well they do such a good job and i literally oh, can't i couldn't i can't leave this song alone i still love it so much like the singing parts the rapping parts the rappers are just like the way they start off the song you're like oh my god build up build up build up you know like oh my god your heart's like pumping you just love the song so much like people probably think i'm a weirdo probably rolling up probably thinking i'm like rolling around on the floor and just getting excited over it <laughs> actually i am that's the truth um <clears throat> but oh my god the are one of my favorite yeah guy groups of this year they have really won me over and i really can't wait to hear more of the teasers music they are so good i can't wait and yeah <sighs> oh black cat has just taught me black cat nero is just like oh yeah i still can't believe it. i'm still in shock how good the song is but yeah let me get my next song Mm -mm -mm. so yeah sorry 10 position I, I literally couldn't read what's happened there it's J, jy park featuring some me with when we disco sorry i had to double check i said everything right then <coughs> 
Yeah, Mummy Disco, sorry. Um, such a fun song. I love the 70s vibe. I love the dance moves. I love the way it's been sung. Such a fun little dance to do. Mummy Disco, Mummy Disco. I can't do it properly right now. Like, Mummy Disco. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, people are going to think I'm so weird. But oh my god, Mummy Disco. What a fun song, what a fun video. It was like watching a film, it reminded me of a film the song did as well. Really fun song and I just think it was just a lot. It's just like, just a song that isn't meant to take itself so seriously. It was just very much like, just having fun with, its, with itself and I really, <clears throat> really enjoyed it really really enjoyed the song so much and oh god how is how is jyp in his like 40s and he still can dance so brilliantly it's amazing like he can dance better than a lot of 20 year olds he's just so talented and so much energy it's just good to see so much energy coming from him and he's one of the top people in in korea who people literally look up to and respect so much he's done so he's really done so well as well and you know he has his own company and he you know he's looking after other artists as well and you know helping them too it's just like he's definitely doing like great things and it's been a great year for him as well and yeah he's currently got a new song out with rain which i really want to check out i've got to check that out as well um but yeah when we disco so fun mm. so yeah nine position is jesse nu nu nana mm, nu, 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 nana um yeah <laughs> Luke did a little dance to it on my channel. <laughs> the video of it is on my channel of Luke's little dance to it. He loved doing it. I'm not joking. He knew the dance better than me too. He's such a fan of the song, but I love the song so much. When it when it first came out, I was like, "How brilliant is this song?" And then every time I listened to it after, I was like, "Oh my god, I love this song. I love this song." So I'm you know letting it play because I'm like, I am obsessing over this song. This song is amazing. This is one song to be obsessed over because it's just such good. Such a good job by Jessie. She done really great in this song, rapped it, sang it well. And Lee Ha Yoo be making an appearance in it as well. They just look so good together. And it's just such a fun song to see. I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed this song when it came out. And just so colourful and beautiful the song is as well. And the video was too. And the dance is just so cool. Oh my god. And recently Jessie performed it on stage with Jackson Wang. And Jackson Wang's voice and it was just like, oh, it makes your mouth. Jackson Wang's so hot as it is, so you're like, oh my god, oh. I'm a simp for Jackson Wang officially, he's so hot. Um, <coughs> talking to Jackson Wang, my crown fell off, <laughs> not fair. Oh, mm -mm. Mm. oh, come on, man, I don't look like a man, I actually look like a man right now. It's a weird haircut I gave myself during the pandemic, <laughs> nothing's open. Um, but yeah, Jessie and Nunu Nana, what a song. That is one of the best songs this year. It's going to be remembered forever, that song is. Okay, so eighth position is Awasa with Maria, Maria, Maria. Um, wow, what do I say about Maria? It is so interesting, the song is. Another name Hawassa is known by is Maria. Alongside Silby as well. And the Reef and Sisters. Hawassa, Maria and Silby. But yeah, Maria, it's a brilliant song. I love the Latin vibe of it. And I love, like, you know, because Maria is Hawassa's Christian name, apparently. And she done so good in this song. The lyrics are amazing. And it's just another song aimed at the haters of Hawassa, you know. I don't know what they gain, like, you know, from being just so horrible to her all the time. Um, <clears throat> which I just feel I just feel so bad for her. And Maria was just like another song again, which is just showing how Hawassa feels. And I think her whole album was just so good. Like, Kidding Me is such a good song as well. Really enjoyed that song. And I love Hawassa. I love when Hawassa raps as well. I get really like, I'm like, oh my God, Hawassa's rapping again. Hawassa's such a good rapper too. I know she's mainly a singer, but I love it when she raps as well. And yeah, I really enjoyed the Maria song. I really enjoyed the dance in it. And such a fun little video too. I, brilliant her with the white outfit on too like the all white outfit when she's sitting in that chair and you know going towards the door oh my god just so like so many like um meanings as well in the song too when she's like trying to get away from like the, i'm guessing like you know when she's going like backwards towards the door like on the floor sort of crawling 
getting away from the like the horrible hate and negativity i think that's what it's meant to represent really but yeah i really enjoyed maria maria's one song every time i hear it i'm just it's so cool and i love that latin vibe to it as well so fun the spanish is sort of latin vibe wow the way it starts off as well but every part of the song is amazing but yes uh seventh position is <coughs> you know what's happened i've got dry throat right now i've been talking that long so seventh position number seven is stray kids with god's menu oh my god god's menu what is on this has been i love the you know what this is mainly like a rapper song i'd say of course you know there is singing in it of course but i thought it was very much like the songs with the rapper songs with the rappers were really behind it i feel and it's just so fun and of course the most popular thing is which is like made the song blow up even more was felix's deep voice you know feeling like a chef in my five you know that is just literally made the song even more popular but the song is so amazing the you know the video is amazing them in the kitchen you know one second and dress as waiters by the way who looks great stray kids are probably one of the only people in the world that could wear um <coughs> <clears throat> oh my god who hates me right now um <laughs> um yeah stray kids are one of the only people in the world that can wear like waiters outfits and still look great dancing in them how is that even like possible like only stray kids could like work anything in the world they could wear bin bags and they'd still look good um but yeah and they, and of course you know the part when they're on the racetrack and everything it's just so fun i really enjoyed really enjoyed the video and the dance is so cool like oh my god one of the hardest dances of this year to do i'd say as well brilliant but stray kids are that good dancers they can just do anything and i am stray kids are one of my favorite boy groups of this year too me and luke can't leave a tease and stray kids alone this year like one of the top boy groups of this year has been them too as well they've really tease and stray kids have made their mark this year they've really shown that they're like stray kids are the same they just they've shown as well they're here to stay and they're not going anywhere and no one can bring them no one can bring them down um but yeah i really enjoy god's menu it's best best song of stray kids this year was god's menu um <coughs> i have the driest road ever right now so yeah sixth position is taming with idea mm. killing me softly wow what a song this is i really love it and i love the dance and the video and the colors and everything it's just so beautiful the whole video is and taming's just so graceful like oh my god so like ugh, he's more graceful than me he's just like he's so beautiful and amazing and um <clears throat> he sung this song so well and taming is such a beautiful soft voice but when he hits those high notes he can still sound just as amazing and he can do all sorts with his voice and i think that's what's interesting about tame and he does something different every time and his songs he's had so many songs quite a few songs out this year which i'm so excited he's had criminal criminal was a be amazing song so fun amazing dance and two kids was just a beautiful like, little ballad and wow what a year it's been for taming well done to him you know he's been very busy this year alongside working with super m as well um but yeah he's still just done so well for himself this year and i really love all his songs i'm really excited for more music from taming in 2021 let's see what he brings out next but yeah idea is my favorite song of taming's this year wild entertainment <coughs> hmm. so fifth position is g idol oh my god oh my god um best g idol song of this year 100 percent um brilliant what can i say that song is just beautiful the video of it is just art what can i say like the best g idol song for me last year was lion but then this year is it has to be oh my god yeah oh my god when you see the song and the video when you hear the song too uh brilliant song i love it so much i love the english version of it and when this album concept came out i was so excited to see it then when um, the song oh my god finally was like there and i was like what what an amazing song what a video amazing lyrics and soyen's rap bits she always kills it with the rap bits every time and brilliantly sung and really showed mini as well which was good to see it really showed mini in the song even more and um, the look of it and everything i love the like you know when they're drawing when they drew things on mini as well like you know really cool and the bit at the end where like soyen's just like covered covered i think covered in like mud i'm guessing is it mud or paint 
don't know what to call it. I'm rubbish with recognising stuff, but you know, she's like covered in mud at the end and it just looks absolutely brilliant. Very artistic. I felt the video was very artistic at the same time. It was just pure art. And wild well and GI'd all day. I've had a brilliant year and I can't wait for more as well from them. So yeah, fourth position I have is Alexa with Kitty Run. Oh my god, how cute is this song? Kitty run, run, kitty run, run. So I can only use one hand right now as I'm holding the other with a book in my hand. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, I'm making weird noises now because my throat is that dry. Um, Alexa, so Kitty Run. Another complicated dance choreography in the video, 100%. I tried doing this and it's so hard to do and... But the good side is that you get, a, yeah, you get an, another one where you can get a good workout from. Um, Kitty, I just love it. I love, like, you know, her outfit in it. It's just brilliant. And I think she's got, like, Dragon Ball Z, I think, on her trousers. I'll have to ask Luke about that because Luke mentioned something like that. But I mean, Dragon Ball Z on her trousers in the video. Like, her whole outfit's all orange. And then her hair's all, like, you know, gingery, like, orangey as well. And she looks so amazing in the video. And she danced so well. And it was just so fun to see. It was just like, you know, we got to see Alexa's, like, more of a, what's the word? Yeah, you got to see, like, a fun sort of, um, more of a pop side of Alexa, I'd say. But Alexa's songs have been brilliant so far. Like, this year, last year and this year, like, she very much, I love the fact that she's, she's one of my favourite solo artists of this year, Alexa's been. And I feel like <clears throat> she, um... Yeah, I just love her action sort of like theme that she goes for in her music videos and she did it this year as well. Um, Do or Die, you know, she really, and Villain as well. Brilliant songs and and also Revolution. Continue the action theme in that and I love her action theme she keeps on doing. It's just so fun to see an artist, a female artist especially, like to do that sort of thing. It's really interesting to see. She's worked very hard this year, Alexa has, and I'll give her a lot of credit. And yeah, she's 100%. One of my favourite, yeah. <laughs> One of my favourite artists of this year. My soul artists. And I loved IU as well this year. Definitely loved IU. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, which brings me on to another one of my favourite soul artists of this year. Third position. Third position is Jackson Wan with 100 Ways. Yes, 100 Ways. <laughs> I love that song so much. Oh, He's so good. He's so talented and I love the whole samurai theme of the song, first of all. And I love the little dance moves with the hand. Everyone, like, literally, we just mentioned that in the comments. You know, when he's just, like, doing this, like, his hand ones. I can only do one hand right now. Um, <clears throat> he's just brilliant. And, you know, I just love the autumn leaves and everything and the beautiful set and the dancers as well. And he just danced so well. He's a good dancer anyway, like we all know from GOT7 and you know when the woman appears in the video and she's a brilliant dancer as well and it's just such a beautiful video and the chemistry between the both of them is just like wow jackson and the um model in the video i think or maybe an actress i'm not sure um but the chemistry between them two is just amazing and when they dance together it's just really beautiful i thought they just were amazing together in the song and the song beautiful song amazing the lyrics wow oh my god sang so beautifully by jackson it really is oh wow just a me I, I love the meaning behind the song it's just really 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 good i really 100 ways i've listened to about a million times this year and i still love it to this day even the end of this year i'm still listening to the song and jackson you're amazing <laughs> really is so much talent and i can't wait for more like music from him as well and got seven too has got seven's latest album wow is amazing. Oh, love it. Oh my god, almost towards the end. I feel sad, but my throat is very dry right now. I can barely talk. So yeah, second position is BTS. Is yeah, BTS. Jimin from BTS, as in, and his song "Filter." I heard this song on the BTS Map of Soul album, and I couldn't leave it alone. I love it. It's a bit of like a sort of like a Spanishy vibe to it. And just, I love the song as well, um, the lyrics as well. Virginie, have I left in Oh, so cute. I just think it just captured Jimin's cuteness as well because he's just so cute. He's one of my favourites in BTS and I really like him a lot. He's just very simp. He just seems really cute, doesn't he? Jimin does. He's like a little angel. He's just so cute. 
and he sung Phil are so beautifully and when he performed it on stage I saw a YouTube video of him performing it on stage I was like oh, wow Jim and you are so talented and so much presence I really would love Phil to have a music video still I really wanted to have one and oh, just such a beautiful song I just love it it's just so simple as well when you listen to it I really love the song so much oh Wild and Jimin for this amazing song. You've literally given us some something really beautiful um, this year, and oh, the way he sang it, I just can't. I can't get over how good he was in that song. I just really like. I love Jimin so much, and wow, I love BTS obviously because you know it was on the BTS album. Song was, <laughs> but really Wild and Jimin, love it. So yeah, here's my number one position. I knew made it to the end I'm a bit sad though I'm sad we've made it to the end at the same time but I really have enjoyed you know doing this countdown I know I've been out of breath and coughing like a man through most of it but you know I'm sad we have to get to the end now I'm so sorry but you know we made it um, to the end so here is number one position of my favourite song of this year drum roll please da -da 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 I sound like a psychopath. Oh, <laughs> shouldn't say stuff like that. Sorry. <laughs> I sound crazy. Sorry. Um, oh, my crimes fell off now. I deserve that, actually. For saying something like that. It's actually fully fell off. I don't know where it's even gone. Uh, where did it go? Come back. Oh, my God. Now I've lost my ground. Um, here's my crown. It's back. I'm putting it back on. My, cr my crown from the crack Christmas crackers. Um, yeah, number one position. Sorry, ignore what I've just said in the past few minutes as I n ruin everything for myself. Um, yeah, so number one position of my best songs of 2020 is Solar Song, Spit It Out. Oh my God, I have not left this song alone since it came out. I still play this song so much and I'm just like doing the little dance moves like, like this. Ah. You know, like, oh, she's just so amazing in that song. Down, down, and I said, I can't do it because I'm sitting down. Um, but she is just so brilliant in that song. I literally, I say this is the best song that Solo has had solo. Um, it was so different from her as well. And I'm glad she got a song that showed her, you know, dancey sort of party side as well. And, um, I love the little Latin vibe to it as well, and especially that line when she sings in Spanish, and it's like, Sin Falsa, it's Falsa, something like that. It's a Falsa, or something like that. Oh my God. But she's so brilliant. I really loved her in that song so much, and the dance is just amazing, and I love the outfits. Oh my God, the outfits are just literally amazing. I couldn't believe it. That green dress, then the beautiful black dress, as well with the heels she looks so hot in that part and then she looks really cutesy with the little bum buns like this and the jeans on too so the crop top um as well and also the beginning part which is in like you know the sort of purple sort of blue outfit with the like you know the gloves with the orange nails and everything like what a mate what an amazing set they built as well the like the amazing set they built and also oh yeah last outfit as well where she's got the seafood skirt on <laughs> With all like, you know, it's just art, with art all over it, it looks really nice. She is just so amazing in the song. Lyrically, the song is amazing. Love it, love the Latin vibes so much. I know I've just said that. Um, and the, just, the, just the way she sung it and the, her, her, like, her hitting those high vocals. She was so good in the song. I really enjoyed her in that song so much. She hit those high vocals so beautifully as well. And definitely not an easy song to sing and i've literally just found myself going better better <laughs> obviously i can't sound as good as her um but she's just so good in that song i just can't get over how good she is and i've not left it i've not left the song alone all year i've played the song and i was like you know what this is my favorite song of this year <laughs> all year i've been saying this is my favorite song of this year and it has actually said it's my favorite song of this year just so good been put together so well and i enjoyed when this song came out and her performing on stage as well she was so good and wow oh my god just can't believe it how how amazing is spit out 
it's just and the song done well in Korea, so it is definitely a good song if it's done well. <laughs> but I really I loved it so much and wow, I hope Solo releases more solo work as well. Please give Solo another song. Oh my god, Spit It Out has just been so amazing. Oh my god, I just can't I can't believe it and Solo's are just too good. She's too good. She really is so talented and you know, people I read that people like online were saying nasty things about her, saying, you know, oh, why she's showing so much confidence, and it's like, well, would you want people to be, you know, if someone is not confident as a singer, then you know, is that what they want? They don't want anyone to be confident as a singer. It doesn't really make sense. At the end of the day, you gotta look like you have to be confident in your music videos. You have to look like you wanna like, you you, you know, you have to show that you wanna be there. You don't wanna just like you know, do a half half a job, do you? You wanna do the do it fully you want to like fully go hard you don't want to just like half you know heart, put half your heart in it you want to fully put your heart in something so i don't really get why people complain about her being confident i just think some people just really like don't like anyone having any confidence in the first place i don't like it um which you know the equals do they can just listen to boy music then can't they you know <laughs> just listen to something boring um <clears throat> how can you just like complain about something like that it's just so mm just so weird it is i just don't get haters i really don't at times you know i get it you know they don't like something that's fine but you don't just go oh too much confidence whatever what no you know it's like yeah fair enough she's if someone just like literally had an attitude problem was showing so much arrogance constantly then you would say that but if they're showing confidence there's nothing wrong with showing confidence at the end of the day you know as a singer you have to show confidence you have to look like you know when you perform on stage you have to look you know ready you have to look like you know you you have to believe in what you're doing really what you're doing you got to believe in it and um and that's what i think soda truly did in the spit it out song i think she done so well for herself i really i'm so like proud of her in this song i really enjoyed her so much and wow you wanna oh, wow i just can't go over it I, I just still can't go over spit it out but yeah so this is my countdown of the best songs of 2020. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about me manly coughing and, you know, using the wrong words at the wrong times, you know. I, I'm, I usually am trying to say something else and I say the wrong word and I offend people, you know. Um, but I'm sorry about that, but I hope you still enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to both mine and Luke's channels as Luke's a big part of my channel. I basically appear in his videos, he appears in mine, so, you know, and he helps me out a lot with the editing. He's taught me to edit a lot this year, you know. I've, finally learn how to edit my videos thanks to him this year um and thanks to you know all his support as well so it's been a brilliant year <laughs> really enjoyed this year as well at the same time of course with what's going on i've still you know just try to enjoy enjoy myself either way let's just enjoy ourselves really but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all very soon and my mouse is probably froze now as this video's been playing well <laughs> but thank you for watching